none of them knew how this journey would end. Their dignity and determination took them to America. Now, within 48 hours of getting here, seeking justice for their son, an invitation to the White House. We're just keeping our fingers crossed that we're not going to go um, and just have a, a there, there, pat on the back. They arrived in Washington not knowing who they'd meet. As they entered the White House grounds, they were told it was President Trump. And there was someone else. He was very gracious, um, very welcoming. Uh, the bombshell was dropped not soon after we walked in the room that Anne Sekoulis was in the building um, and was willing to meet with us. Um, we made it very clear that um, as we've said all along, we will meet with her and we are still willing to see her. Um, we would still love to, to meet with her, but it has to be on our terms and on UK soil. Anne Sekoulas claimed diplomatic immunity and returned to America after a crash that killed 19-year-old Harry Dunn. In a round of TV interviews in the US, his parents appealed to the president to send her back. They were told that that would never happen. But Harry's mum made a direct appeal to the most powerful man in the world. I said if it was your 19-year-old son, or your son, no matter what age, you would be doing the same as me. And he was holding my hand at the time and he said, yes, I would. And he said, maybe we'll try and push this from a different angle. We've just met the president and we never thought we'd get this far. He seems sincere to me. But as we've, I don't know if we've got any further forward, I don't know. If the White House hoped for a happy resolution, they misjudged. The search for truth started when Harry's family spoke to Sky News in their small village in Northamptonshire. Twelve days later, they are here at the White House. If nothing more is done by the president, Harry's family will continue to explore all of their legal options on both sides of the Atlantic. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Washington.